Hello everyone, uh, as we're coming to the final week of the Maven Unicorn Challenge, I have actually submitted my report a few weeks back, but I didn't really look at one aspect of the data set, which is the individual investors, so that's not anywhere here. I had actually done some data prep and analysis, but I didn't want to overcomplicate my report. Now, however, since then, I've had a few people come and ask me um, if I had any advice on how to prep the data so that individual investors could be extracted from each line and some further analysis could be done. As I said, if I come here, um, I have actually done some preliminary analysis with some rough visuals here, uh, looking at like a total number of investments also looking at total average funding, average funding per investment, and then also a funding to valuation um, ratio for investors. So looking at which, which investors are getting the most buying for their buck. And then over here, we just have a few simple bar charts showing most active investors, biggest spenders overall, and the top investors that have the greatest funding to valuation ratio. Now I note here that I've made an assumption here that each investor within a company has contributed an equal investment, which is actually probably not the case in reality and maybe one of the reasons why I chose to omit this from my report. Anyway, if you wish to see how I did the data prep for this um, using text extraction and unpivot in Power Query, stay tuned. All right, so we're in Power Query. Um, I have the unicorn data loaded here. I've made a couple of changes where we have extracted the actual valuation from the number that we had. Um, but the purpose of this mini tutorial is to see if we can extract <coughs> the select investors into individual investors. Um, and to do that, we're going to use a series of extract uh, commands. Um, so the first one we want to do is extract the first investor. So we're going to do this over four columns because we have up to four investors. So we say we have a delimiter of a comma. So what you want to do is for the first one is to extract the text before a delimiter. So we made sure that we selected the select investors column. We just put in comma delimiter, hit OK. And we see there we have Sequoia Capital China, Sequoia Capital China. So what we want to do now is <clears throat> the next one is to extract between delimiters. So the next one we will have uh, between two commas. So again, start delimiter is a comma, and delimiter is a comma. We have advanced uh, options here. So we just keep this as zero and zero because we're just taking between the first two delimiters. So we hit OK. And if we move over again, the first row we see we have Capital China and then the next one is SIG Asia Investments, which lines up here. So you want to go for number three. Again, we keep this column selected, extract text between delimiters again. So you want to go, yes, two commas again, but for the advanced, what we want to do is from the start of the input, number of start delimiters to skip. So which delimiter we want to skip? We want to skip one, the first delimiter, and we start on the second one, okay? So we go one, hit OK. Again, the first one, so we've got SIG, Asia Investments, and then Sino Evo. So now we want to go for the last one. So again, just extract. <coughs> this one I'm going to use again, still text between delimiters. You could probably use something else, but is for the sake of consistency here instead of one we can select two and we should see no so 
we see that not all um, unicorns have four investors, but luckily the first one has four, so he uses as an example. So a soft bank group. So that's basically splitting out each of our investors into individual columns. Now, <coughs> what you want to do is then unpivot these. So what we can do is select all these columns. We go up to transform. We select unpivot column. So next, we want to tidy all of this up. So this column is not actually required. So we remove that column. This column we can rename as investors. And we also want to tidy it up a little bit. So <clears throat> we'll go to format, trim. And then also we want to get rid of those blanks. So we load all of these. We unselect the blank. So now for each unicorn, so we got byte dance here. We got um, four line items, and we have the individual investors. So that's how you can effectively extract each of the investors from that column and then replicate them for individual line items um, and that will help you in your analysis. One note I will make is that because the funding values are repeated um, you have to make sure you're careful when you are using um, calculations and summing things like valuation and funding so looking at how much each investor is um, investing in each company because it's not each company that will be funding eight billion dollars it'll be split between them in some kind of a percentage and um, so that's something just to be wary of um, part of your DAX you may want to count the number of investors for each company and then maybe divide that divide the funding by the number of investors to get what the actual funding is on average per each investor So if I just, so now I come back to what I had shown earlier. And note that if I go into the table, I have created uh, another calculated column. Um, this is for the purpose of addressing duplications in any calculations. So this simply counts the number of companies that have invested in each company so a number of investors so for the first one here where we have by dance there's four investors so this literally just counts and tells you that there's four investments in this company the next one has three and so on done one so that's what the purpose of that column is if I go back here I've also created a number of um, simple decks formulas just for the purpose of this um, analysis. Some of these are a little bit unorthodox due to the presence of those dupl duplicate lines, but they all still work out. Okay, so I've tried to keep this one short. I hope this has helped anyone who wishes to prep data to look deeper into investors' funding and valuation. I actually think it would be interesting to see which investors are lining up with which industries and also maybe which parts of the world to see if there's any, um, any insights there. So good luck to anyone who's still putting together, putting together their proposals and I'll see you on the next one.